Hello everyone and welcome to another live protocol video. So on this video we're going to be talking about the INTJ personality type and we're going to be focusing mainly on their darker side. So what can we add to the already often talked about INTJ dark side? Uh, if you are part of this community, if you are part of the MBTI or if you are just interested in type, you undoubtedly heard about the INTJ and their dark traits and their propensity to be the evil masterminds behind the scenes, strategizing and uh, uh, controlling everything uh, like, like their puppet master or something like that. So that's a very crude, uh, stereotypical image that people have of, of the INTJs and that's been talked about a lot. So I'm not mentioning any of ENT, INTJ strengths on this video because as you can see in the thumbnail, it's the INTJ dark side. So don't get mad at me INTJs, I'm talking about your worst side now. Uh, and I have plenty of videos that talk about the good side of the INTJs as well. So you can check those out. But I want to add something new, something that maybe people don't know. Uh, I'm talking about neuroticism. Well, one of the big five, one of the traits of the big five model. And neurotic people, there are people that uh, basically they have more trouble dealing with stress and they are more prone to suffer uh, from anxiety and uh, they have um, a predisposition overall predisposition to negative emotions. So I do believe that introversion and neuroticism is, they're not one in the same, but they are interlinked. So the more introverted someone is, the more neurotic, neurotic they are likely to be. But this is not a trait exclusively, exclusively attributed to INTJs. It can be easily attributed to INFPs, INTPs, even ISTPs can are more neurotic than all the extroverted types. So they have to come up with ways to combat, right, to fight this neuroticism. And INTJs being one of the most introverted types, they came up and they rely almost exclusively on their rationality, on their capacity for, for logic. Even though they are not introverted thinking uh, users, they are very logical people as well. And they, um, rely very very they rely uh and I, I won't i won't say solely but a large part of who intjs are it's based on their rationality and the rationality is ba is basically a, a way for them to protect themselves and to um mit mitigate the effects of their neuroticism the problem with intjs and the reason why i, I believe they sometimes fall into their dark side is because they start relying so much on that rationality it becomes uh their main way of being their main way of dealing with life that they become very detached and very cold towards other people especially towards people that are constantly uh, dwelling on their more emotional side. So emotions and rationality, they're two sides of the same coin, right? They, they're opposed to each other. So the more rational someone is, the less emphasis they're going to put on emotions, right? And uh, way more information like that coming up on the video. So stay until the end. To Thank you so much for watching and I hope you love the show. The INTJ Dark Side All personality types have their own strengths and weaknesses, today, we will be focusing on the INTJ personality type and their dark side. INTJs are known for being intelligent, strategic, and independent, their high intellect often renders them successful in their pursuits. And despite their highly introverted nature, when they channel the full force of their willpower, they become very capable of thriving in positions of leadership. However, this type also has a dark side, when INTJs become overwhelmed or stressed, they can become very critical, perfectionistic, and combative. What happens when INTJs let their perfectionism and critical nature get out of control? In this video we will explore the darker side of the INTJ personality type, if you are an INTJ or have one in your life, then this video is for you. I'll not only provide hints and explanations on how to recognize the signs INTJs are stepping into their darkness, but I'll also advise on some of the best practices to pull them out of it. The Healthy INTJ There's a lot to say about INTJs, such as them being stereotypically portrayed as the villain masterminds, behind the curtains pulling the strings. 
and although undoubtedly some INTJs might act in such a manner, we cannot forget that those specific individuals are most likely undergoing an unhealthy mental state. INTJs in their healthy or stable state don't purposely look for trouble, they're not interested in conflict, they are more concerned with attaining the necessary knowledge that will help them achieve success. The healthy INTJ, is someone who consistently considers future outcomes and prepares in advance, they have a natural talent for strategy, and prefer to have all the pieces ready, before they make a move. Since extroverted sensing, or SE, is their fourth or less developed function, means that improvisation is not one of their strong suits. So preparing in advance is absolutely critical for their success, they use their pattern recognition skills and innovative thinking, to solve problems often before they occur. It's safe to say that INTJs live in I told you so land, as they can successfully follow a thought pattern or a concept far into the future. Of course, they cannot see the future, and they are not wizards with the power of foresight, but instead, they are born with the natural predisposition to pick up on patterns better than most. The flexing of this mental muscle throughout their lives, causes this aptitude or skill to become stronger, sharper, and more refined. INTJs would tell you they are rarely surprised, and seldom shocked. Being so good at predicting outcomes and knowing with a certain degree of certainty what is most likely to happen, gives them a tremendous advantage. Because if INTJs know what's most likely to happen, they are able to prepare for it, maximizing their chances of success. Just don't ask them to improvise on the fly, they're notoriously bad at it, it's not like they aren't able to do it, but the amount of mental energy expenditure, is very large. In opposition to types with high SE or extroverted sensing, who are very proficient at improvising and adjusting on the spot, but are severely lacking when it comes to planning. And this is where the INTJ's massive potential for darkness, starts to take shape. The trifecta of their natural gifts, consisting of predicting and planning, combined with absurdly high amounts of willpower, that if used with the wrong intentions can become very dangerous. The INTJ Dark Side The reason why INTJs go into the darkness, is mainly because of self-preservation, being an introvert myself, it pains me to admit that introversion has a high correlation with neuroticism. The more introverted someone is, the more neurotic they are likely to be. Neurotic people have more trouble dealing with stress, are more prone to suffer from anxiety, and have an overall predisposition towards negative emotions. INTJs being one of the most introverted types, had to develop ways to cope with all this neuroticism, one of those ways is rationality. For example, thinking that darkness just means the absence of photons, makes things much less scary. INTJs not only employ rationality as a defense mechanism against their neuroticism, they also plan and strategize to prevent negative outcomes, and maximize their chances of success, so they don't have to improvise if things go awry. INTJs step into their dark side, when the only way they choose to deal with life is by overprotecting themselves, and using logic and rationality as a vanquish all weapon, or a cure all remedy. When they do so, they become cold and detached from their fellow human beings, they may feel like rationality is the only way to go, and completely devalue emotions, and the people who constantly dwell in them. Forsaking emotions and elevating thinking, over a long period of time, think evolution, has made INTJs intellectually potent, they are one of the most intelligent types. So in a way, we can say that pulling the strings of neuroticism, may cause the rise of intelligence. And intelligence comes with its own struggles, arrogance is one of those side effects, INTJs when in an unhealthy state, can be very arrogant and self-assured. Being able to predict the most likely outcome, can also work against them, making them single-minded and dismissive of other people's ideas and opinions, they may start to believe they always know better. The best way to pull INTJs out of their darkness or their unhealthy state, is directly connected with trust, and soothing their neurotic tendencies. INTJs are one of the most distrustful types, if not the most, in order for them to be able to relax, feel comfortable, and open up, they need to be able to trust the people around them. They also need alone time to process and organize the large amounts of information, their sponge brains constantly soak up. The third aspect INTJs need to take into consideration in order to return to a healthy state, is feeding their secondary function of extroverted thinking, or TE. INTJs are at their happiest when they are involved in a project, creating content, furthering their careers, or simply progressing in a video game they are engulfed in, TE dislikes stagnation and idleness. If you're an INTJ and you find yourself constantly falling into your darkness. 
Most likely you're not getting enough alone time, you're not being productive and feel you're not progressing, or you're surrounded by people you deem to be untrustworthy. Mitigating these three crucial factors, is sure to lift you up and improve your situation, the darkness will only lead to ruin, the faster you recover, the quicker you can get busy living your best life. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, that will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.